Alrighty guys, how's it going? As you can see here, I got a new United uh, sales catalog and I want to get your guys' thoughts and opinion about something I thought was interesting to see printed in black and white in the supplier's catalog. And I want you guys to see it, you'll know all about it. But like I said, I just want to get your guys' thoughts about it. And this is mostly uh, targeted for you guys that do residential, mostly. So, let's just start looking at the outdoor cover here. Net refrigeration solutions. Okay, they're trying to solve problems, right? Who can't appreciate that? That's the smart probes, good solution. <laughs> all right, so all kidding aside, repair, compressor only, restore with the OEM pack. Basically, it's a compressor kit with a filter dryer, contactor, run caps, all the stuff you would need anyway, mostly for changing in a compressor. Now over here, this is the part I thought was interesting to see in black and white in a sales catalog. Uh, something suggested like that. So, replace the condensing unit only. So let's just flip a couple pages. Let's just briefly go over this side. You know, the comp just changing the compressors. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, solution. OEM pack. Focus. Basically, you get all the, you know, the, you know, the fittings you may or may not need. Run caps. Uh, acid test kit, dryer, copper, compressor, of course. Now with PoE oil, you could use 407C if, if you like that. So, let's go over to this page. This is the page I thought was interesting. Now, replace the condensing unit only, basically, what they're saying. Now, let's zoom in here. Let's read what they say. The fastest way to get your customer up and running. New unit slash new warranty. Everything you need in one bundle. No duct changes. Basically, I guess what that means is don't touch the evaporator, you know, indoor section, right? Okay. Fortune replacement unit bundle includes new outdoor unit with five year warranty. R Fortune TXV kit. Pad, whip, disconnect. T stat, can of flush. If you buy all that poo poo, you get 50 bucks off. Okay? So, as you, most of you guys already know already, uh, the minimum sear standard uh, for the north of the United States, northern United States, 13 sear. And basically everyone in the south, mostly, is 14 sear. And this is all if you want to buy the kit. All the junk you would get. There's the flush. Here we go, and the TXV. And your choice of unit. I think this unit's kind of ugly, kind of old school looking. Um, I think the thermal zone looks looks better anyway, but that's neither here or there. But I know you guys, a lot of you, some of you guys have used the thermal zone, the dry stuff, dry shipped. Basically, what they're suggesting here is go ahead and just change the outdoor unit, 14 sear. Don't touch really anything in the inside besides just slapping on a TXV in, and possibly, you know, if you want to flush the lines out or not, whatever, it's up to you. So that's the part I want to get your guys' uh, thoughts on. Is that something you would do? Let's just assume it's a 10 sear evap coil. You know, I understand, of course, you're not going to get, you know, a true 14 sear matching a 14 sear outdoor unit with a 10 sear indoor coil. There's, there's you know, there's no magic. There's no nothing you could do about it. But is that something you would do? For instance, you know, the outdoor unit's in bad shape. Um, you know, it's not worth changing the compressor on it because outdoor unit's falling apart. Uh, the dog had its way with it, with his, you know, piss. And, um, you know, the customers uh, doesn't have a lot of money or they're just cheap or, you know, whatever. They don't want to spend a lot of money. You guys know how that is. So is this something you would do? Now, assuming you would uh, check the indoor unit, uh, the indoor evaporator coil, um, you know, it looks clean. Uh, there's no visual oil spots. Uh, you pressurized it, did a leak check with your bubbles, sniffer, whatever. Indoor coil is good, but however, it likely is pretty old, you know, 10, 20 years old, who knows. Probably 20 years old, and likely it's possibly a 10 sear coil. Now, they want they want you to read between the lines here, but basically, that's what they're saying you could do here. Uh, I know this is probably not a new concept to a lot of you guys, but like I said, I just want to get your guys' 
thought it was interesting to see this in a catalog uh, written like that and uh, get your guys' thoughts about that. And assuming, um, you know, some of the older coils aren't uh, rated for 410A uh, pressures, you know, a lot of them don't have that sticker that says R22 slash 410A. So I don't, I guess that doesn't even matter because all that stuff leaks anyway. All this stuff nowadays leaks anyway. But like I said, they're not explaining a whole lot here besides just go ahead and slap an outdoor unit and just put a TXV on the indoor old evaporator coil. Another um, scenario is I was talking to uh, the parts guy at one of my supply houses about this whole, you know, 14 CR scenario thing is now, you know, difficult it would be just to swap the outdoor unit, you know, if how good it would work, you know. We were just talking about that. And what he told me was the, some of the guys coming in there that, you know, buy, buy the stuff, the supplies there, that some of the techs are just buying the outdoor unit, whatever, 14 seer, and assuming it was probably a 10 seer system uh, is what we were talking about. And just down, like, for instance, there was a three ton originally there and just downsizing it a little bit, for instance, uh, two and a half tons. And I don't think he mentioned that they would add a TXV. So what's your, want to get your guys' thoughts about that, if you would do that too. I already think I know a lot of your guys' uh, thoughts would be about doing anything like this, but we're just having uh, some fun here. And also, you no know, going back and forth here, but also would you do that downsizing scenario with what, they, what they're suggesting here? Uh, just, you know, putting a 14-seer unit, possibly with a 10-seer VAP coil uh, with the TXV. And, for instance, you know, you had a 3-ton originally, and you downsized the outdoor unit to a 2.5-ton. I'm wondering, would you do that too? I want to get your guys' thoughts about that. Anyway, I just thought, like I said, I thought it was interesting to see something like this printed in black and white. And I know a lot of guys already do this, but... Like I said, just want your guys' thoughts. So uh, be interesting. All right, guys, we'll see ya.